y'all are y'all kidding? Child. I just be so. And speaking of sexualizing children, let's go, Mo. Like we gonna, we gonna stay in the same lane. Come on. I need it. Go right. No. What that picture? Hey, been going all over here. My sister, man. What a picture Finally first? Hey, man. Hey, Amber. 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 Man, man, look at this dude right here, man. Let me go leave my mama with my little sister, dog. Look. Look. Hey. Hey. Amber. Why are you even on the phone? Hey, let me in, man. Let me in. Hey, dude. Why you do? Why you with my sister, dog? How you gonna leave, bro? How you gonna leave my mama with my sister, dog? Go ahead, come on, come on, you come on about here. Come on, open, open this gate, man. Come on, come on, open this door, open this door. You too old, you was a, you was a kid, bro. you was a whole kid, man, you, bro. bro you, you was a kid. Dude, you raised me. You was a kid. You raised me. I raised you and I raised her too. How you gonna raise, how you gonna raise my sister and take her? Bro, bro, bro. Look, we got nothing to talk about, man. You come on, come on, dog. Come on, Amber. You coming home. You coming home. Open it, open, dog, open this gate. Open this gate. Open this gate. My mama just, my mama sent me over here. Found out where y'all at. Open the door, man. You been all over the internet. You been all over the internet. All over in there with my sister. Going crazy. Making my mama look crazy. No, no, no. Come on, Amber. Amber. Amber, get your stuff. You better go. Boy, Come on. You a kid, boy. Amber. You a you a little Amber. kid. Why you a kid? Amber. Why knock you Amber. out, boy? Amber. Amber. Listen. Amber, get your stuff. Mama, mama, call she her grown. back. Yeah, she, she about she about to come home now. She about to come home. She grown. Eighteen. Oh, no, no, she no, grown. No, it's legal, uh, right? Now oh, you can do. Look. Open the gate. Open the gate. You can do. Open the gate. Open the gate. Dog. She that's a child, man. That's a child. She's not no child. You gotta be ashamed of yourself. Boy, your sister is a woman. Look. This man. This man. This man raised me. Left my mama with my little. Now, go to the other one, and then this 16 year old rapper named Lil Wode and his girlfriend, who is 26 year old, are going on viral, going viral on Facebook. These are the pictures he took before dropping him off to school. And then, where the other one, Mo? It's a video. It is a video. Come on, we're gonna, we gonna cover. Police say that a son, that's not it. Uh, uh let me see. see. Which one it is. Here it is, I got in it. June, a joy to be around. She can make you smile right away. Brunson wanted to be an orthodontist or a vet, later learning she was good at making others look good, so she enrolled in beauty school. She actually taught me how to put on eyelashes and do my eyebrows. This is Brunson leaving home the morning of September 24th, texting her mom a smiley. I wasn't even there 30 minutes and they called and told me her car was found. And I knew then at that point, like, something happened to her. The day of the murder, police say Brunson met up with a married man she'd been seeing, Sutan Sharif. Strangely, he'd reached out to Brunson's mom a week earlier. He goes on to say, I want to be done messing with your daughter, but she's reaching out to my wife. September 24th, a friend of Sharif's called 911 after he says he saw Sharif on top of the victim in Sharif's car and that the female stated, he cut my throat. She was screaming and pleading for help. Police didn't locate the two then, but hours later were called to an alley near Keefe and Palmer where Brunson had been tied, shot, and then set on fire. She was everything to me. She was everything. And, and then it's all right. It's all right. It's, it's just, you know, when I saw that last story, about that young woman that was dealing with the married guy. And um, it, it reminded me of something that Jada Pinkett's mom said on Red Table Talk. You all know I used to watch that shit religiously. And she said, we've all let our little girl behavior get us in some grown woman mess. And I think that that just, that, that, that just describes that perfectly. You know what I mean? Like, I just think she was well out of her league. Obviously, I do not, I'm not saying that she should have been killed. She should have been harmed. But like, that was, that was some grown woman shit to be talking about, I'm gonna go tell your wife. Like, and that cost her her life. I mean, it's unfortunate. And obviously he needs to go to jail. He needs to be punished. But it's just like, oh my God, she was way over her head. And then we revert back to what that pastor was saying. And your in front of your congregation when all of the when when sexual immorality is going on across the board whether you're gay right straight bi trans biracial trans i don't give a fuck it's yeah. going around across the board yeah and your focus on how this country needs to be who needs to sit i can't vote for nobody that's gonna do that right 
church and state state need to continually be separated. Right. Nothing in this country was built on this. You couldn't possibly think that this country was built on anything moral. Not with all this black skin here. Mm -mm. You couldn't possibly think that this country, this nation was built on anything moral and godlike. Especially when we are still over here, when there are still states mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that we can't get rid of them lynching laws. Slavery is still on the books in like four or five states. While these niggas talking about they're going to vote for Trump. <laughs> That's why I said he's going to preach himself right back into slavery. You can't possibly think that. And you can't possibly think that this is a man of God. It's no way that you, it's no way. Kayla keeps saying, Craig, check your DM. I got to look into that. I, I can't, said, I can't. She said Twitter because she, she inboxed me. She said, you got both of y'all need to check your Twitter or DM. Yeah, I got to look into that. I don't know enough about that right now. Yeah, she, she said both of y'all need to look into your Twitter DM. So, But yeah, that's, that's insane. It's, it's just, it's sad. It really is sad. Uh, Kayla, you sent us a thing where it says Representative Sire Draper, Georgia State Election Board just voted three to two to make it easier for a county election board member to delay or refuse to certify November's election. I guess to validate it, to say that it's, you know, whatever the outcome is, that it is official, that it's legitimate. The three who voted in favor are the same ones Trump called out by name. And described as his pit bulls. So, in other words, it's going to be bigger. up to them to determine whether or not it's legitimate. The outcome is legitimate or not. He put them in place to right. do that. Right. You heard him also state that after you vote this time, you won't have to do it again. Why would you take? Why would you attempt to take democracy from the people? Oh, and you know, he was also trying to get his um sentencing pushed back beyond the election and they said no 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 <laughs> we're gonna be doing that before the election so i'm i mean to me it just feels like and seems like he should be so tied up with that bullshit and going to jail that he ain't got time to be running no campaign or be president he need to be tied up in that girl did you hear about that beauty supply store they got evicted girl yes the girl listen Craig. Girl, girl, the blacks were lined up out there, girl. We they was the Craig. We still in this little place, right? Real quick. I'm so sick of them church niggas. <laughs> when 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 G O D or J Christ or whichever one of them niggas that you believe in return, a lot of you motherfuckers ain't going. I don't give a damn what y'all done preaching it. A lot of you motherfuckers ain't going because of the hate, the disdain, the evil, vile things of your heart towards a human being. That you don't even know. That you don't even know. God don't need you niggas help to do a motherfucking thing for him. Him, her, them, or they. God knows how to be God. And that's it. You motherfuckers taking on roles and taking on duties that ain't got shit to do with you. When your own house is fucked up. When your own house is fucked up and you trying to clean somebody else's shit up. Wait a minute. Who did somebody know God is a him only? Well, listen, over here in this house, God is a, is a he, she, they, them. God is, a, is, a, is an entity. I, I'm Craig. I'm so confused at the way that people really. There's so many mother, so many. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you didn't even answer that. I don't know who that is. Yeah. Get it. <coughs> Hello. Um. This isn't Craig. This is his wife, Keisha. <laughs> I'm fine. Um. He's not a. He's not available right now. He's at work.
Babe, who's that? Oh, you're trying to buy. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. You're trying to buy his property. Yes, you need to speak to me because I I bought it. I'm the original purchaser of the property. Girl, unless they have one million, I'm not telling. Oh, okay. Um, it, well, is the offering price one million American dollars? American, not pesos. Yen. So the offer, well, is the offering price one million American dollars? No, okay. Sorry, thank you. Let me block that number. <laughs> Baby, they will call you and set you up and try yeah. to buy your house. She said, hi, Keisha. <laughs> I can shop. And he was foreign. I said, are these one million American dollars? Right. Not, I don't, not I don't, Ruby. I don't want any rubles or naira rubles. or naira. Why you have to bring Jesus? <laughs> Jesus. Why you gotta why you gotta bring Naira? I don't want this? no Naira. Why you have to bring Naira? They don't spin this? the same way they spin over there. You never know that. They don't spin. You don't here. know that. They don't spin here the way they well, because if they spin here the way they spin over there, then we wouldn't have a hush puppy. <laughs> hush puppy was international. It just wasn't American and Naira. But he let America it was pals, hold it. He, let Amer he let America hold it. <laughs> and that's why they snatched it to gather him up. And we won't see him for a while. <laughs> You never know. Uh, no, we won't. He could be out tomorrow. You no, never he, know. But he's not. <laughs> he's not Trump. <laughs> he's not Trump. <laughs> Go ahead, Craig. Let's talk about this beauty supply. Oh, oh, that yes. beauty supply, baby. I think it was in Riverdale, which is south of Atlanta. Yeah, it is. And baby, some beauty supply store got evicted. I guess because they didn't pay pay their rent. Girl, they had hair and gel and shampoo and conditioner and shit all in boxes they had the racks and shit all in the parking lot and when i say them niggas was lined up in that parking lot like vultures first of all did y'all send an apb out how the fuck did those people know to descend on that parking lot <laughs> how did they know that did y'all tweet did y'all send a text message out they got notifications Facebook? right they got notifications and then at the last minute niece oh they said the owner died oh then at the last minute niece they thought that they were all congregated in the parking lot, and they thought that they were going to be able to gather the things up for free. And Alice had told, Alice had rolled up on there and told them, "Honey, you do know that if y'all gather any of these things, you're going to jail." Right. And so the police came, and they had a whole team to pick up all of the stuff and take it to the dumpster, and told them niggas that if they wanted it, they had to go down down to the dumpster and get it from the. You know, white people love the dumpster dive. Mo, play the video, please. Okay. We are black women. We care about our crown. Why not give back to the community and let us come get on, the products? Let us get the, the, the tools. Any other eviction? Like free stuff. So we came out here to get all this free stuff. But then the car saying, you can't get the free stuff because the, the people want to take it. And how y'all going to take some stuff that ain't even yours? It's free. So I got my two baskets. I took the bus or whatever to get down here to get some free stuff. We're already in a recession. Times are hard. Why not just let us get the items and invest and be okay? That man ain't even at his judgment seat. Good that he got to keep looking back. Like they got that hair. Did they pick that hair up off the ground down there? Don't let them get the hair. All that tax dollar going down the highway for some 
hair weave and glue and lashes and shampoo and do rags and combs and brushes and curling irons. And y'all was none of y'all was none of the same niggas that was over there supporting that business and won't go vote. Now you can congregate in the park a lot for some free shit, but you won't stand in the voting line for your freedom. Did you see what I did there? I saw exactly what you did. And I saw what they did too. All of that tax dollar. God forbid you needed to call the police that day. You can't even get a policeman on the line. Because <laughs> they escorting air <laughs> down the... Children out of there. <laughs> yes. If that ain't some foolishness. Yeah. I'm like, my God, today. Now they gave us why the fuck would they what give light? Girl, he didn't send some diet simply lemonade over here. Yeah, bring that one. If I need another drink. Now, what happens when you want? What happens if you have a refund? If you need to do an exchange? Oh, they, listen, I just tell them that they sent the wrong order. I just get it all back. Yeah. Can you I, keep the, the product? I did it yesterday. <laughs> they had put all that pork in my in my. You said what? They put all that pork. Oh, you didn't order no pork? I didn't. You sure? Why did they have all those sausages all around my motherfucking shrimp like that? I don't eat pork. Uh, okay. You sure? If you're watching, I don't eat pork. Why did y'all have all that around my Dungeness crabs and shrimp? And then put me no egg or no potato in there. Mm. Folks, you bring the ice and tell me down here. My God, that is some foolishness. Craig, can you believe that? Now, I ain't even going to front. I would suck somebody over there to give me some of that stuff. I wouldn't have went because I'm an upstanding citizen and I would never do no shit like that. But I damn sure would have sucked somebody over there. <laughs> Because you're an upstanding citizen. Upstanding. Okay. I would have sunk somebody. S U N T. Now I like me a little booster. I know I would have sunk somebody around there to get me some of that. I'm not even gonna hold you. So I like some booster. I would have sunk me somebody around there to gather that up for me. Bitch, to get me some of that 99 J house. Right. Because I know it's a bunch of 99 J land on the ground. You better know it. So I need to have my hair ready. <laughs> <laughs> Craig, I knew it's a 99 J over there on that I'm motherfucking sure ground. Bitch, because I need to have my hair ready. 